the water sign okay i have um my daughter's unicorn holder so this is an awkward yes that's a little bit or you just get this head <laughs> um welcome to addicted to astrology hopefully you can hear me that's the good thing about this because it's a little closer while i have my fan on in the background let's run through this quickly because fire signs are quick sparks of energy we're talking about Jupiter and Aries. It is actually uh, Monday because it's after midnight, June the 13th, 2022. It is Gemini season. It is the full moon. They are both at 23 degrees. And the full moon is actually tomorrow night or tonight and Monday night, but it's really like Sunday night and a Monday night. Let's get back to Jupiter and Aries. Jupiter is in the Aries as well as Mars is in the Aries. Mars is Aries ruler. Um, Mars also rules Scorpio. For those of you that don't know, I'm a Martian. And Jupiter is also ruling the full moon we're having right now while I'm doing this conversation. Anything in Aries begins a new cycle. So Jupiter is beginning its new cycle. Um, Mars is beginning its new cycle. Chiron is beginning its new cycle. And they are all pretty much conjunct right now. Um, Aries is fire sign, cardinal element. Aries is, again, ruled by Mars. Um, it is a fire sign. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. That is also fire sign. Jupiter and Mars, as well as Venus, all represent two signs. So Jupiter represents Sagittarius, a fire sign, and Pisces, a water sign. Jupiter, I'm sorry, Mars represents Aries, a fire sign, and Scorpio, a water sign. So Jupiter and Mars have that water and fire element uh, in similarity. Just for your education. <laughs> and speaking of education, Jupiter represents higher education, the higher mind, um, travel, long distance travel, globalization, your beliefs, your religions, or religious if you're religious, what you believe in, what you speak on, what you highly speak on, what is exaggerated when you speak, what is expanded, what is abundant when you speak. All those things are Jupiter characteristics. Toxic and non-toxic, good energy and bad energy. And Aries. Aries is a leader, a pioneer, a brave soul, a selfish soul, self more, more into self-care, which is also important, a starter, a leader, I said that. Um, Aries is also the god of war, aggressive, takes action, serious about a number of things that is going to put us in motion. So that's why this is important because Jupiter expands whatever Aries is putting in motion. All right, um, what are we putting in motion with Jupiter and Aries? It's the whole thing I wanna touch on about this in this brief episode. This is a perfect time to start things. Me, I'm gonna start my business back up in a new way. Um, definitely, because uh, 10th house. So I have Jupiter in the, oh, I should have been prepared, third house, I think. Uh, the opposite side of the Sagittarius house, the Gemini house, right? So um, 
I also have Jupiter and Cancer. So the things I care about have a lot to do with my home setting or children, my children. So that is why I need to kind of get back into the business of homeschooling. Not kind of, definitely. Um, be a better you with Jupiter and Aries. Just taking more action. That is the best way to be a better you. Behave enough to start. I'm sorry, be brave, behave. <laughs> I'm trying to be quick. Be brave enough to start a new you a new energy a new vibe any new thing and get to it uh get out of your comfort zone now jupiter again is beginning its journey so jupiter normally stays in a sign between nine months to a year depending on retrograde and all those other kind of things so jupiter was in pisces briefly last summer and then it went back into Aquarius and then it went into Pisces and now it's in Aries. Of course it'll be a retrograde and it'll go back into Pisces briefly again but then it'll go through Aries and then move into Taurus within a year. <clears throat> so getting out of your comfort zone can take some time and another thing with this Jupiter expanding Aries your actions energy is you create your own life so now we're starting anew it is time for you definitely to get into something that you can bank on when Jupiter moves in the Taurus that's why it's, this is really good energy for business um, starters and people who are just feeling lucky and feeling motivated what triggers you so this is Jupiter and Aries because good and bad <laughs> toxic non-toxic yin and yang what triggers you so aries being that aggressive god of war in jupiter that's expanding that aggression notice your triggers so you don't have toxic aggression good some aggression is good because you want to be firm and brave enough to get through this new cycle but again you create your own life you getting through getting out of your comfort zone is going to be tough to get through at first so just watch your triggers and know what triggers you how are you confident do you have faith in you so being a pioneer jupiter and aries expand that part of you that says i'm going to be brave enough to be confident to move into this direction I have faith that this direction is going to be right for me. Um, what are you, uh, what in life could you be seeing yourself as a leader? Where in life can you be seeing yourself as a leader? Me, for example, um, I'm definitely in this groove of getting back into putting more of just the thinking, the thinking and the doing not just the thinking and talking, the thinking and the doing energy out and showing, not just talking. And I will be a great, a great example. Uh, do you have goals for yourself? Have you begun them? Yes. I'm not gonna get into my goals because um, I don't wanna make this about me. I wanna make this about all of us starting anew. Are you driving your own car? Now, I just does not mean do you have a car, but like whatever is putting you in motion, are you the reason that the motion is happening? Are you putting yourself in motion? Are you driving yourself to do what you are confident about and have faith in yourself and can be a leader in doing? Are you a risk taker? With this Sagittarius moon in Jupiter and Aries, take some risk and see where it goes and then keep moving with it. Are you impatient? Are you quick to judge? Um, most fire signs, you know, Leo could be, all of them can be selfish. All of them can be selfish, the fire signs. Let's just start there. But Leo can be, um, the brave part can not be so selfish looking because they are brave enough to show others their light, their own light. They're the sun, they represent the sun, so they shine their light to show others sometimes what light they have as well Aries is the impulsive like you know you got this you know you could do this <laughs> and Sag is like wait a minute let me show you how great I am 
so you can be great too so these fire this fire energy is awesome um water energy is hard to motivate sometimes in these places but when you get water boiling with that fire energy jupiter and mars can take you far so take it take make use of this jupiter mars and chiron being the great healer starting us in a new way to heal on this earth it's all great energy right now fire is lit right now and so is air it's hot outside you know the, the air is blowing to keep us cool hopefully you're staying hydrated with water energy because there are a few things what's in water right now neptune and pisces giving us the illusions but also this the spiritual mind to elevate and go higher and once neptune moves into aries that's a new cycle for neptune as well all right that's a, a couple of years think about in the in 2024 uh, last but not least, what is your destiny? So this, the destiny part, you know, is the North Node. Where are we going with our money, our finances? Where are we going with taking care of ourselves with um, food? The food situation going on out here. Some people are saying food doesn't even taste the same. Um our resources like gas i just made a, a video a short that is talking about how you can't even smell gas at the gas pumps anymore so what is your destiny taking you like what is it where do you see yourself in the future this is the most corniest question but the most realest question you can ask yourself where do you see yourself in the future not with your baby daddy sitting on the couch every day <laughs> Not going to that nine to five and punching a clock every day. Not making babies and having them sitting around every day. Not seeing your baby <laughs> or claiming them and thinking that's going to move you. You really have to motivate, move, lead, have faith, make goals, take action, spark yourself, light that fire under your own ass. <laughs> with Jupiter and Aries and Mars and Aries and Chiron anything that gave you a problem with all this you will heal from it in a new way it won't be like the way you used to do when you would cry to your baby mama <laughs> your baby daddy your ex your husband your your ex-wife your even your your mom or your daddy or grandparents you are literally holding and healing yourself aries is about self care being selfish because you need to be selfish take this energy and run with it i believe jupiter moves out of aries again uh in late the late portion of this year then it goes back into aries and moves into taurus quickly by like next spring so use this energy, this new energy, this full moon, exposing this fire, light, and starting, motivating, and knowing your, your power. Knowing your power. Don't blame me, just watch. <laughs>